Hanyu Pinyin simplified Chinese, Hanyu Pinyin traditional Chinese, Hanyu Pinyin often abbreviated to Pinyin, is the official romanization system for standard Chinese in mainland China and to some extent in Taiwan. It is often used to teach standard Mandarin Chinese, which is normally written using Chinese characters. The system includes four diacritics denoting tones. Pinyin without tone marks is used to spell Chinese names and words in languages written with the Latin alphabet, and also in certain computer input methods to enter Chinese characters. The Pinyin system was developed in the 1950s by many linguists, including Zhou Yuguang, based on earlier form romanizations of Chinese. It was published by the Chinese government in 1958 and revised several times. The International Organization for Standardization ISO adopted Pinyin as an international standard in 1982, followed by the United Nations in 1986. The system was adopted as the official standard in Taiwan in 2009, where it is used for international events rather than for educational or computer input purposes. But some cities, businesses, and organizations, notably in the south of Taiwan, did not accept this. So it remains one of several rival romanization systems in use. The word Hanyu, simplified Chinese, Hanyu traditional Chinese, Hanyu means the spoken language of the Han people. Pinyin, Pinyin literally means spelled sounds. Topic: <laughs> History of romanization of Chinese before 1949. In 1605, the Jesuit missionary Matteo Ricci published Shizi Chiji, Shizi Chiji, Shizi Chiji, Shi Su Chai Kai, Miracle of Western Letters, in Beijing. This was the first book to use the Roman alphabet to write the Chinese language. Twenty years later, another Jesuit in China, Nicholas Trigo, issued his Shi Ru Er Mu Zi, Shi Ru Er Mu Zi, Shi Ju E R H Mu Su, Aid to the Eyes and Ears of Western Literati, at Hangzhou. Neither book had much immediate impact on the way in which Chinese thought about their writing system, and the romanizations they described were intended more for Westerners than for the Chinese. One of the earliest Chinese thinkers to relate Western alphabets to Chinese was late Ming to early Qing dynasty scholar official, Fang Yi Ji, Fang Yi Ji, Fang Yi Ji, Fang I Qi, 1611 1671. The first late Qing reformer to propose that China adopt a system of spelling was Song Shu. 1862 a student of the great scholars Yu Yu and Zhang Taiyan, Song had been to Japan and observed the stunning effect of the kana syllabaries and Western learning there. This galvanized him into activity on a number of fronts, one of the most important being reform of the script. While Song did not himself actually create a system for spelling Sinitic languages, his discussion proved fertile and led to a proliferation of schemes for phonetic scripts. Wade Giles The Wade Giles system was produced by Thomas Wade in 1859, and further improved by Herbert Giles in the Chinese English Dictionary of 1892. It was popular and used in English language publications outside China until 1979. Sin In the early 1930s, Communist Party of China leaders trained in Moscow introduced a phonetic alphabet using Roman letters which had been developed in the Soviet Oriental Institute of Leningrad and was originally intended to improve literacy in the Russian Far East. This Sin Wens or New Writing was much more linguistically sophisticated than earlier alphabets, with the major exception that it did not indicate tones. In 1940, several thousand members attended a border region Sin Wen Society Convention. Mao Zedong and Judah, head of the army, both contributed their calligraphy in characters for the masthead of the Sin Wen Society's new journal. Outside the CCP, other prominent supporters included Sun Yat-sen's son, Sun Fo, Kai Yuanpei, the country's most prestigious educator, Dao Xingzi, a leading educational reformer, and Lu Xuan. Over 30 journals soon appeared written in Sin Wen's, plus large numbers of translations, biographies including Lincoln, Franklin, Edison, Ford, and Charlie Chaplin, some contemporary Chinese literature, and a spectrum of textbooks. 
In 1940, the movement reached an apex when Mao's border region government declared that the Sin Wens had the same legal status as traditional characters in government and public documents. Many educators and political leaders looked forward to the day when they would be universally accepted and completely replace characters. Opposition arose, however, because the system was less well adapted to writing regional languages, and therefore would require learning Mandarin. Sin Wens fell into relative disuse during the following years. <laughs> Yale Romanization In 1943, the U.S. military engaged Yale University to develop a romanization of Mandarin Chinese for its pilots flying over China. The resulting system is very close to pinyin, but does not use English letters in unfamiliar ways, for example, pinyin X is written as psi. Medial semivowels are written with Y and W instead of pinyin I and U, and apical vowels syllabic consonants with R or Z. Accent marks are used to indicate tone. History of Hanyu Pinyin Pinyin was created by Chinese linguists, including Zhou Yuguang, as part of a Chinese government project in the 1950s. Zhou is often called the father of Pinyin. Zhou worked as a banker in New York when he decided to return to China to help rebuild the country after the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949. He became an economics professor in Shanghai, and in 1955, when China's Ministry of Education created a committee for the reform of the Chinese written language, Premier Zhou Enlai assigned Zhou Yuguang the task of developing a new romanization system. Despite the fact that he was not a professional linguist, Hanyu Pinyin was based on several existing systems Guayu Romatsai of 1928, Latin Shi Sin Wens of 1931, and the diacritic markings from Zuyin. I'm not the father of Pinyin. Zhou said years later, I'm the son of Pinyin. It's the result of a long tradition from the later years of the Qing dynasty down to today. But we restudied the problem and revisited it and made it more perfect. A draft was published on February 12, 1956. The first edition of Hanyu Pinyin was approved and adopted at the fifth session of the First National People's Congress on February 11, 1958. It was then introduced to primary schools as a way to teach standard Chinese pronunciation and used to improve the literacy rate among adults. Beginning in the early 1980s, Western publications addressing mainland China began using the Hanyu Pinyin romanization system instead of earlier romanization systems. This change followed the normalization of diplomatic relations between the United States and the PRC in 1979. In 2001, the PRC government issued the National Common Language Law, providing a legal basis for applying pinyin. The current specification of the orthographic rules is laid down in the National Standard GB, T161592012. Usage Pinyin superseded older romanization systems such as Wade Giles 1859, modified 1892 and postal romanization, and replaced Zuyin as the method of Chinese phonetic instruction in mainland China. The ISO adopted Pinyin as the standard romanization for modern Chinese in 1982 ISO 7098-1982, superseded by ISO 7098-2015, the United Nations followed suit in 1986. It has also been accepted by the Government of Singapore, the United States's Library of Congress, the American Library Association, and many other international institutions. The spelling of Chinese geographical or personal names in pinyin has become the most common way to transcribe them in English. Pinyin has also become the dominant method for entering Chinese text into computers in mainland China, in contrast to Taiwan where Bopomofo is most commonly used. Families outside of Taiwan who speak Mandarin as a mother tongue use pinyin to help children associate characters with spoken words which they already know. 
Chinese families outside of Taiwan who speak some other language as their mother tongue use the system to teach children Mandarin pronunciation when they learn vocabulary in elementary school. Since 1958, pinyin has been actively used in adult education as well, making it easier for formerly illiterate people to continue with self study after a short period of pinyin literacy instruction. Pinyin has become a tool for many foreigners to learn Mandarin pronunciation, and is used to explain both the grammar and spoken Mandarin coupled with Chinese characters. Hanzi Hanzi Hanzi. Books containing both Chinese characters and pinyin are often used by foreign learners of Chinese. Pinyin's role in teaching pronunciation to foreigners and children is similar in some respects to furigana based books with hiragana letters written above or next to kanji, directly analogous to zuyin in Japanese or fully vocalized texts in Arabic. Vocalized Arabic. The tone marking diacritics are commonly omitted in popular news stories and even in scholarly works. This results in some degree of ambiguity as to which words are being represented. Topic <inaudible> overview. When a foreign writing system with one set of coding decoding system is taken to write a language, certain compromises may have to be made. The result is that the decoding systems used in some foreign languages will enable non-native speakers to produce sounds more closely resembling the target language than will the coding, decoding system used by other foreign languages. Native speakers of English will decode pinyin spellings to fairly close approximations of Mandarin except in the case of certain speech sounds that are not ordinarily produced by most native speakers of English. J, Q, X, Z, C, S, Z, H, C, H, Shish, and R exhibiting the greatest discrepancies. In this system, the correspondence between the Roman letter and the sound is sometimes idiosyncratic, though not necessarily more so than the way the Latin script is employed in other languages. For example, the aspiration distinction between b, d, g and p, t, k is similar to that of English in which the two sets are however also differentiated by voicing, but not to that of French. Letters z and c also have that distinction, pronounced as ts and ts whilst reminiscent of both of them being used for the phoneme ts in the German language and Latin script using Slavic languages respectively. From S, Z, C come the digraphs shish, ZH, CH by analogy with English shish, CH. Although this introduces the novel combination ZH, it is internally consistent in how the two series are related, and reminds the trained reader that many Chinese pronounce shish, ZH, CH as S, Z, C and English speakers use ZH to represent in foreign languages such as Russian anyway. In the X, J, Q series, the pinyin use of X is similar to its use in Portuguese, Galician, Catalan, Basque, and Maltese, and the pinyin Q is akin to its value in Albanian. Both pinyin and Albanian pronunciations may sound similar to the ch to the untrained ear. Pinyin vowels are pronounced in a similar way to vowels in Romance languages. The pronunciation and spelling of Chinese words are generally given in terms of initials and finals, which represent the segmental phonemic portion of the language, rather than letter by letter. Initials are initial consonants, while finals are all possible combinations of medials semivowels coming before the vowel, the nucleus vowel, and coda final vowel or consonant. <laughs> initials and finals Unlike European languages, clusters of letters, initials, sheng mu sheng mu sheng mu and finals, yun mu yun mu yun mu and not consonant and vowel letters, form the fundamental elements in pinyin and most other phonetic systems used to describe the Han language. Every Mandarin syllable can be spelled with exactly one initial followed by one final, except for the special syllable er or when a trailing r is considered part of a syllable see below. The latter case, though a common practice in some sub-dialects, is rarely used in official publications. One exception is the city Harbin, Ha or Bin Ha or Bin whose name comes from the Manchu language. Even though most initials contain a consonant, finals are not always simple vowels, especially in compound finals, Fu Yun Mu Fu Yun Mu Fu Yun Mu, i.e. when a medial is placed in front of the final. For example, the medials I and U are pronounced with such tight openings at the beginning of a final that some native Chinese speakers especially when singing pronounce Yi, Yi clothes, officially pronounced I, as G, and Y, Y, Y to enclose, officially pronounced Yue, as Wei, or Wue. 
Often these medials are treated as separate from the finals rather than as part of them. This convention is followed in the chart of finals below. Topic: <laughs> Initials. In each cell below, the bold letters indicate pinyin and the brackets enclose the symbol in the international phonetic alphabet. One Y is pronounced a labial palatal approximant before U.2 the letters W and Y are not included in the table of initials in the official pinyin system. They are an orthographic convention for the medials I, U and U when no initial is present. When I, U, or U are finals and no initial is present, they are spelled Yi, Wu, and U, respectively. The conventional order excluding W and Y, derived from the Zuyin system, is Topic. Finals In each cell below, the first line indicates IPA, the second indicates pinyin for a standalone no initial form, and the third indicates pinyin for a combination with an initial. Other than finals modified by an R, which are omitted, the following is an exhaustive table of all possible finals. Point one: The only syllable final consonants in standard Chinese are N and ing, and R, which is attached as a grammatical suffix. A Chinese syllable ending with any other consonant either is from a non-Mandarin language a southern Chinese language such as Cantonese, or a minority language of China, or indicates the use of a non-Pinyin romanization system where final consonants may be used to indicate tones. 1 a is written er. For other finals formed by the suffix r, Pinyin does not use special orthography, one simply appends r to the final that it is added to, without regard for any sound changes that may take place along the way. For information on sound changes related to final R, please see Urhua hash rules. Two U is written as U after J, Q, or by point three UO is written as O after B, P, M, F, or W. Technically, I, U, U without a following vowel are finals, not medials, and therefore take the tone marks, but they are more concisely displayed as above. In addition, E, I, A, E, and syllabic nasals M, Fu, M, N, N, Wu, Ng, N, N are used as interjections. Topic. Rules given in terms of English pronunciation Most rules given here in terms of English pronunciation are approximations, as several of these sounds do not correspond directly to sounds in English. Topic. Pronunciation of initials Asterisk note on Y and W Y and W are equivalent to the semivowel medials I, U, and U see below. They are spelled differently when there is no initial consonant in order to mark a new syllable. Fangon is fangguan, while fangwen is fangwan and equivalent to asterisk fang uan. With this convention, an apostrophe only needs to be used to mark an initial A, E, or O, xian two syllables, I dot a n versus xian one syllable, I, N. In addition, Y and W are added to fully vocalic I, U, and U when these occur without an initial consonant, so that they are written Yi, Wu, and U. Some Mandarin speakers do pronounce A J or W sound at the beginning of such words. That is, Yi I, or G, Wu U, or Wu U, Y or E. So this is an intuitive convention. See below for a few finals which are abbreviated after a consonant plus with U or Y, I medial, Wen C plus U N, Wei C plus U I, Wang C plus Ong, and U C plus I U. Asterisk asterisk note on the apostrophe. The apostrophe, J Yin Fu Hao J Yin Fu Hao, syllable dividing mark, is used before a syllable starting with a vowel A, O, or E in a multiple syllable word when the syllable does not start the word, which is most commonly realized as unless the syllable immediately follows a hyphen or other dash. This usage is done to remove ambiguity that could arise, as in Xi'an, which consists of the two syllables Xi, Xi, and An, compared to such words as Xi'an, Xi'an. This ambiguity does not occur when tone marks are used. The two tone marks in Xi'an unambiguously show that the word consists of two syllables. However, even with tone marks, the city is usually spelled with an apostrophe as Xi'an. Topic. Pronunciation of finals 
The following is a list of finals in Standard Chinese, excepting most of those ending with R. To find a given final, remove the initial consonant. ZH, CH, and SH count as initial consonants. Change initial W to U and initial Y to I. For Wang, Wen, Wei, U, look under Ong, Un, Ui, U. For U after J, Q, X, or Y, look under U. Orthography Letters Pinyin differs from other romanizations in several aspects, such as the following Syllables starting with U are written as W in place of U e.g., asterisk UAN is written as WAN. Standalone U is written as WU. Syllables starting with I are written as Y in place of I e.g., asterisk Ian is written as YAN. Standalone I is written as YI. Syllables starting with U are written as U in place of U e.g., asterisk U is written as U. U is written as U when there is no ambiguity such as Ju, Ku, and Shu, but written as U when there are corresponding U syllables such as Lu and Nu. In such situations where there are corresponding U syllables, it is often replaced with V on a computer, making it easier to type on a standard keyboard. When preceded by a consonant, U, Ue, and Uen are simplified as U, Ui, and Un, which do not represent the actual pronunciation. As in Zuyin, what are actually pronounced as Buo, Puo, Muo, and Fuo are given a separate representation, Bo, Po, Mo, and Fo. The apostrophe is used before a syllable starting with a vowel a, o, or e in a multiple syllable word when the syllable does not start the word which is most commonly realized as unless the syllable immediately follows a hyphen or other dash. This is done to remove ambiguity that could arise, as in Xi'an, which consists of the two syllables Xi Xian, and compared to such words as Xi'an, Xi'an this ambiguity does not occur when tone marks are used, the two tone marks in Xi'an unambiguously show that the word consists of two syllables. However, even with tone marks, the city is usually spelled with an apostrophe as Xi'an. A alone is written as E, elsewhere as E. Schwa is always written as E. Zh, ch, and shish can be abbreviated as z, c, and s, z, c, s with a circumflex. However, the shorthands are rarely used due to difficulty of entering them on computers and are confined mainly to Esperanto keyboard layouts. Early drafts and some published material used diacritic hooks below instead. Z ing has the uncommon shorthand of Early drafts also contained the letter or C, borrowed from the Cyrillic script, in place of later J. The letter V is unused except in spelling foreign languages, languages of minority nationalities, and some dialects, despite a conscious effort to distribute letters more evenly than in Western languages. However, sometimes, for ease of typing into a computer, the V is used to replace a U. Most of the above are used to avoid ambiguity when writing words of more than one syllable in pinyin. For example, Wanian is written as Wenyan because it is not clear which syllables make up Wanian. Uen Ian, Uen Ian, and Uni and are all possible combinations, whereas Wenyan is unambiguous because we, Nya, etc. do not exist in pinyin. See the pinyin table article for a summary of possible pinyin syllables, not including tones. Topic. Words, capitalization, initialisms and punctuation Although Chinese characters represent single syllables, Mandarin Chinese is a polysyllabic language. Spacing in pinyin is usually based on words, and not on single syllables. However, there are often ambiguities in partitioning a word. The basic rules of the Chinese phonetic alphabet orthography, Han Yu Pin Yin Zheng Si Fa Ji Ben Gui Ze Han Yu Pin Yin Zheng Si Fa Ji Ben Gui Ze Han Yu Pin Yin Zheng Qi Fa Ji Ben Gui Ze were put into effect in 1988 by the National Educational Commission. Guo Jia Jiao Yu Wei Yuan Wei Guo Jia Jiao Yu Wei Yuan Wei Guo Jia Jiao Yu Wei Yuan Wei and the National Language Commission, Guo Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zuo Wei Yuan Wei Guo Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zuo Wei Yuan Wei Guo Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zuo Wei Yuan Wei. These rules became a Gubiao standard in 1996 and were updated in 2012. 
General Single meaning, words with a single meaning, which are usually set up of two characters sometimes one, seldom three, are written together and not capitalized, ren, ren person, pengyu, pengyu friend, chao keli, chao keli chocolate. Combined meaning, two or three characters, same goes for words combined of two words to one meaning, hai feng, hai feng, hai feng sea breeze, wenda, wenda, wenda question and answer, quang guo, quang guo, quang guo nationwide, changyangqi, changyang si, changyang si common words. Combined meaning, four or more characters, words with four or more characters having one meaning are split up with their original meaning if possible. Wu feng gangguan, wu feng gangguan, wu feng gangguan, seamless steel tube, wan jing bao hu gui wa, huan jing bao hu gui wa, huan jing bao hu gui wa, environmental protection planning, gao meng suan jia, gao meng suan jia, gao meng suan jia, potassium permanganate. Duplicated words. Double A, duplicated characters double A are written together, renren, ren ren everybody, kankan, kan kan to have a look, nianian, nian nian every year. Abob, two characters duplicated abob are written separated, yanju yanju, yanju yanju to study, to research, shui bai shui bai, shui bai shui bai white as snow. AABB, characters in the AABB schema are written together, Lai Lai Wang Wang, Lai Lai Wang Wang, Lai Lai Wang Wang come and go, Qian Qian Wan Wan, Qian Qian Wan Wan, Qian Qian Wan Wan, numerous prefixes, Qian Fu Sheung Fen, Qian Fu Shen Fen, and suffixes, Hu Fu Sheung Fen, Hu Fu Sheung Fen, Hu Fu Shen Fen, words accompanied by prefixes such as Fu, Fu Vice, Zong, Zong Zong Chief, Fei, Fei Nan, Fan, Fan Anti, Chao, Chao Ultra, Lao, Lao Old, A, A used before names to indicate familiarity, K, K Able, Wu, Wu Wu Less, and Ban, Ban Semi, and suffixes such as Z, Z Noun suffix, R, Air Air Diminutive suffix, T O U, Tu Tu Noun suffix, Xing, Xing Ness, ity j j er east yuan 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 person ja ja er east show show person skilled in a field wa wa eyes and men 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 plural marker are written together fubuang fubu jong fubu jong vice minister shen wu yuan sheung wu yuan sheung wu yuan conductor hazy men hai zi men hai zi men children nouns and names ming si ming si ming si i Words of position are separated, men y, men y, men y outdoor, hei li, hei li, hei li under the river, wash shang mian, huo che shang mian, huo che shang mian on the train, huang hei yinan, huang hei yinan, huang hei yinan south of the yellow river. Exceptions are words traditionally connected, tian shang, tian shang in the sky or outer space, dixia, de sha on the ground, kong zhang, kong zhang in the air, hai wai, hai wai overseas. Surnames are separated from the given names, each capitalized, Li Hua, Li Hua, Li Hua, Zhang San. Zhang San, Zhang San. If the surname and or given name consists of two syllables, it should be written as one, Zhu Kongming. Zhu Zhe Kongming, Zhu Zhe Kongming. Titles following the name are separated and are not capitalized, Wang Buang, Wang Bu Zhang, Wang Bu Zhang, Minister Wang, Li Xian Sheng, Li Xian Sheng, Mr. Li, Tian Zuren, Tian Zhu Ren, Director Tian, Zhao Tongzi, Zhao Tong Ji, Zhao Tong Ji, Comrade Zhao. The forms of addressing people with suffixes such as Lao, Lao Shao, Shao Da, Da and A are capitalized, Shao Lu, Shao Lu, Shao Lu Young, Ms., Mr. Lu, Da Li, Da Li Great, Elder, Mr. Li, A San, A San A San, Lao Qian, Lao Qian, Lao Qian Senior, Mr. Qian, Lao Wu, Lao Wu, Lao Wu Senior, Mr. Wu. Exceptions include Kongzi, Kongzi Confucius, Bao Gong, Bao Gong Judge Bao, Qi Shi, Qi Shi, Qi Shi, Meng Chang Jun, Meng Chang Jun, Meng Chang Jun, Lord Meng Chang. Geographical names of China, Beijing Shi, Beijing Shi City of Beijing, Ebei Sheng, Hebei Sheng Province of Hebei, Yalu Zhang, Yalu Zhang, Yalu Zhang, Yalu River, Tai Shan, Tai Shan Mount Tai, Donjing Hu, Dong Ting Hu, Donjing Lake, Taiwan Haixia, Taiwan Haixia, Taiwan Haixia, Taiwan Strait. Monosyllabic prefixes and suffixes are written together with their related part, Dong Si Shi Tiao, Dong Si Shi Tiao, Dong Si Shi Tiao, Dong Si Tenth Alley. Common geographical nouns that have become part of proper nouns are written together, He Longjing, He Long Zhang, He Long Zhang, He Longjing. Non Chinese names are written in Hanyu Pinyin, A Pei A Wang Jin Mei, A Pei A Wang Jin Mei, A Pei A Wang Jin Mei, Napoi Nawang Jigma, Dong Jing, Dong Jing, Dong Jing, Tokyo. 
Verbs, dong si dong si dong si i, verbs and their suffixes j, j j la, la or guo, guo guo are written as one, kanzi, kan j kan j seeing, jin xing guo, jin xing guo, jin xing guo have been implemented. La as it appears in the end of a sentence is separated though, wash dao la, huo che dao la, huo che dao la the train has arrived. Verbs and their objects are separated, kan shin, kan shin read a letter, kai yu, kai yu, kai yu eat fish, kai wan shao, kai wan shao, kai wan shao to be kidding. If verbs and their complements are each monosyllabic, they are written together, if not, they are separated, gao huai, gao wai, gao wai to make broken, dasa, dasi hit to death, wa i, wa wei, wa wei to become, zheng li hao, zheng li hao to sort out, gai xie wai, gai xie wei, gai xie wei to rewrite as, Adjectives, xing rong si, xing rong si, zingrong si i, a monosyllabic adjective and its reduplication are written as one, meng meng liang, men men liang dim, liang tang tang, liang tang tang shining bright. Complements of size or degree such as xie, xie yik si, yi xie dian er, dian er, dian er, and yi dian er, yi dian er, yi dian er are written separated, da xie, da xie a little bigger, kue yi dian er, kue yi dian er, kue yi dian er a bit faster. Pronouns, dai si, dai si, dai chi. Personal pronouns and interrogative pronouns are separated from other words, wo i zhang guo, wo i zhang guo, wo i zhang guo I love China, shui 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 who said it? The demonstrative pronoun j, j j this, na, na that and the question pronoun na, na which are separated, j ren, j ren, j ren this person, na si wei yi, na si wei yi, na si wei yi that meeting, na zhang bao ji, na zhang bao ji, na zhang bao ji which newspaper? Exception. If j, na or na are followed by dianar, dian er, dian er ban, ban bian, bian bian shi, shi shi huir, wei er, wei er li, li li mi, mi mi or the general classifier j, gi gi they are written together, na li, na li na li there, jubian, j bian, j bian over here, zhez, j gi, j gi this, numerals, shu si, shu si, shu chi, and measure words, liang si, liang si, liang chi, Numbers and words like gi, gi each, may, may each, mo, mo any, ben, ben this, gai, gai gai that, wo, wo my, r and ni, ni yer are separated from the measure words following them, liang gi ren, liang gi ren, liang gi ren two people, gi guo, gi guo, gi guo every nation, main yen, main yen every year, mo gong chong, mo gong chong, mo gong chong a certain factory, wo shao, wo shao our school, Numbers up to 100 are written as single words, san si san, san shi san 33. Above that, the hundreds, thousands, etc. are written as separate words, ju yi qi wan er xian san bai wu xi liu, ju yi qi wan er qian san bai wu xi lu, ju yi qi wan er qian san bai wu xi lu 900 million, 72,356. Arabic numerals are kept as Arabic numerals, 635 fen ji, 635 fen ji, 635 fen ji, extension 635. According to Han Yu Pin Yin Zheng Si Fa Ji Ben Gui Ze 6.1.5.4, the D, D used in ordinal numerals is followed by a hyphen, D Yi, D Yi first, D minus 356, D 356,356. The hyphen should not be used if the word in which d, d and the numeral appear does not refer to an ordinal number in the context. For example, diwu, diwu a Chinese compound surname. The chu, chu in front of numbers 1 to 10 is written together with the number, chushi, chushi 10th day. Numbers representing month and day are hyphenated, wu si, wu si May 4, yi a ju, yi er ju December 9. Words of approximations such as duo, duo lie, lie lie and ji, ji ji are separated from numerals and measure words, ye by duo gi, ye by duo gi, ye by duo gi around a hundred, shi lai wan gi, shi lai wan gi, shi lai wan gi around a hundred thousand, ji ja ren, ji ja ren, ji ja ren a few families, Shi ji, shi ji, shi ji more than ten and ji shi, ji shi, ji shi tens are written together, shi ji gi ren, shi ji gi ren, shi ji gi ren more than ten people, ji shi, ji shi gen gang guan, ji shi gen gang guan tens of steel pipes. 
Approximations with numbers or units that are close together are hyphenated, san wu tian, san wu tian three to five days, qian bai si, qian bai si thousands of times. Other function words, shu si shu si shu qi are separated from other words. Adverbs, fu si fu si fu si, hen hao, hen hao very good, zui kue, zui kue fastest, fei chang da, fei chang da extremely big. Prepositions, jia si jia si jia qi, zai qian mian, zai qian mian in front. Conjunctions, lian si lian si liang qi, ni hei wo, ni hei wo you and I, me, ni lai hei shi bu lai. Ni lai hai shi bu lai, ni lai hai shi bu lai are you coming or not? Constructive auxiliaries. Jie go zu si, jie go zu si, jie gu zu qi, such as de, de 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 ji, ji and suo, suo man man de zo, man man de zo go slowly. A monosyllabic word can also be written together with de, de 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 wo de shu, wo de shu, wo de shu, wo de shu my book. Modal auxiliaries at the end of a sentence, ni zi dao ma? Ni ji dao ma, ni ji dao ma, do you know? Kue ku ba, kue ku ba go quickly. Exclamations and interjections, a, gen mei, a gen mei o, oh, it's so beautiful. Onomatopoeia, mo dao huo huo, mo dao huo huo, honing a knife, hong long yi sheng, hong long yi sheng, hong long yi sheng, rumbling. Capitalization The first letter of the first word in a sentence is capitalized, chushin lila, chun tian lila, chun tian lila, spring has arrived. The first letter of each line in a poem is capitalized. The first letter of a proper noun is capitalized, Beijing, 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 Go Ji Shu Dian, Guo Ji Shu Dian, Guo Ji Shu Dian International Bookstore, Go Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zhou Wai Yuan Wei, Guo Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zhuo Wei Yuan Wei, Guo Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zhuo Wei Yuan Wei National Language Commission. On some occasions, proper nouns can be written in all caps, Beijing, Go Ji Shu Dian, Go Jia Yu Yan Wen Zi Gong Zhou Y Yuan Wei. If a proper noun is written together with a common noun to make a proper noun, it is capitalized. If not, it is not capitalized, Fo Jiao, Fu Jiao Buddhism, Tang Chao, Tang Chao Tang Dynasty, Jing Ju, Jing Ju, Jing Ju Beijing Opera, Chuang Shang, Chuan Chang Sichuan Lovage. Initialisms Single words are abbreviated by taking the first letter of each character of the word, Beijing, 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 BJ. A group of words are abbreviated by taking the first letter of each word in the group, Go Jia Biao Jun, Guo Jia Biao Zun, Guo Jia Biao Zun, Gu Biao Standard, GB. Initials can also be indicated using full stops, Beijing, BJ, Go Jia Biao Jun, GB. When abbreviating names, the surname is written fully first letter capitalized or in all caps, but only the first letter of each character in the given name is taken, with full stops after each initial, Li Hua, Li Hua, Li Hua, Li H or Li H, Zug Kong Ming, Zhu Zhe Kong Ming, Zhu Zhe Kong Ming, Zug KM or Zug KM. Line wrapping. Words can only be split by the character, Guang Ming, Guang Ming Bright, Guang Ming, not Gu Ang Ming. Initials cannot be split, Wang J G, Wang Jian Guo, Wang Jian Guo, Wang J. G, not Wang J G. Apostrophes are removed in line wrapping, Xian, 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 not Xi, and When the original word has a hyphen, the hyphen is added at the beginning of the new line, Che Shui Ma Long, Che Shui Ma Long, Che Shui Ma Long, Heavy Traffic, Carriage, Water, Horse, Dragon, Che Shui Ma Long, Hyphenation, in addition to the situations mentioned above, there are four situations where hyphens are used. Coordinate and disjunctive compound words, where the two elements are conjoined or opposed, but retain their individual meaning, gong jian, gong jian bow and arrow, kue man, kue man speed, fast slow. Shiki ba sui, shi chi ba sui, shi chi ba sui, 17 to 18 years old, da ma, da ma, da ma, beat and scold, ying han, ying han, ying han, English Chinese, dictionary, jing jin, jing jin, Beijing Tianjin, lu hai kong jun, lu hai kong jun, lu hai kong jun, Army Navy Air Force. 
abbreviated compounds, Lu Yu Lu Yu Lu Yu, Gong Gong Guangxi, Gong Gong Guan Xi, Gong Gong Guan Xi Public Relations, Gong Guan, Gong Guan Gong Guan PR, Chang Tu Dianhua, Zhang Tu Dianhua, Zhang Tu Dianhua Long Distance Calling, Chang Hua, Zhang Hua, Zhang Hua LDC. Exceptions are made when the abbreviated term has become established as a word in its own right, as in Chujong, Chujong for Chuji Zhang Shui, Chuji Zhang Shui, Chuji Zhang Shui Junior High School. Abbreviations of proper name compounds, however, should always be hyphenated: Beijing Daxui, Beijing Da Shui, Beijing Da Shui, Peking University, Beida, Beida PKU. Four syllable idioms, Feng Ping Lang Jing, Feng Ping Lang Jing, Feng Ping Lang Jing, calm and tranquil. Wind calm, waves down. Hu Jin Ru Tu, Wei Jin Ru Tu, Wei Jin Ru Tu, spend money like water. Throw gold like dirt. Ji Bai Mo Yan, Ji Bai Mo Yan, Ji Bai Mo Yan, paper brush ink inkstone. Four coordinate words, the A B B reduplication above is an instance of this. Other idioms are separated according to the words that make up the idiom, Bei Hai Guo, Bei Hai Guo, Bei Hai Guo, to be made a scapegoat, to carry a black pot. Ji Shu Zhou Gan Fang O, Bu Shu Bai Xing Dian Deng, Ji Shu Zhou Guan Fang Hu O, Bu Shu Bai Xing Dian Deng, Ji Shu Zhou Guan Fang Hu O, Bu Shu Bai Xing Dian Deng, Gods may do what cattle may not. Only the official is allowed to light the fire, the commoners are not allowed to light a lamp. Punctuation The Chinese full stop is changed to a Western full stop. The hyphen is a half width hyphen. Ellipses can be changed from six dots to three dots. The enumeration comma is changed to a normal comma. All other punctuation marks are the same as the ones used in normal texts. Topic: Tones. The Pinyin system also uses diacritics to mark the four tones of Mandarin. The diacritic is placed over the letter that represents the syllable nucleus, unless that letter is missing see below. Many books printed in China use a mix of fonts, with vowels and tone marks rendered in a different font from the surrounding text, tending to give such pinyin texts a typographically ungainly appearance. This style, most likely rooted in early technical limitations, has led many to believe that pinyin's rules call for this practice, e.g. the use of a Latin alpha rather than the standard style of found in most fonts, or G often written with a single story. The rules of Hanyu Pinyin, however, specify no such practice. The first tone flat or high level tone is represented by a macron added to the pinyin vowel A E I O U U A E I O U U. The second tone rising or high rising tone is denoted by an acute accent A I O U U A A I O U U. The third tone falling rising or low tone is marked by a karen hachik. It is not the rounded breve, though a breve is sometimes substituted due to font limitations. A E I O U U A E I O U U. The fourth tone falling or high falling tone is represented by a grave accent. A E I O U U A E I O U U. The fifth tone neutral tone is represented by a normal vowel without any accent mark. A E I O U U A E I O U U in dictionaries, neutral tone may be indicated by a dot preceding the syllable, for example, ma. When a neutral tone syllable has an alternative pronunciation in another tone, a combination of tone marks may be used, g dao, g dao these tone marks normally are only used in Mandarin textbooks or in foreign learning texts, but they are essential for correct pronunciation of Mandarin syllables, as exemplified by the following classic example of five characters whose pronunciations differ only in their tones. The words are, mother, hemp, horse, scold and a question particle, respectively. Topic. Numerals in place of tone marks Before the advent of computers, many typewriter fonts did not contain vowels with Macron or Karen diacritics. Tones were thus represented by placing a tone number at the end of individual syllables. For example, tong is written tong too. 
The number used for each tone is as the order listed above, except the neutral tone, which is either not numbered, or given the number 0 or 5, e.g. ma 5 for ma, ma an interrogative marker. Topic. Rules for placing the tone mark Briefly, the tone mark should always be placed by the order A, O, E, I, U, U, with the only exception being U, where the tone mark is placed on the U instead. Pinyin tone marks appear primarily above the nucleus of the syllable, for example as in Kue, where K is the initial, U the medial, A the nucleus, and I the coda. The exception is syllabic nasals like per meter, where the nucleus of the syllable is a consonant, the diacritic will be carried by a written dummy vowel. When the nucleus is written e or o, and there is both a medial and a coda, the nucleus may be dropped from writing. In this case, when the coda is a consonant n or ing, the only vowel left is the medial i, u, or u, and so this takes the diacritic. However, when the coda is a vowel, it is the coda rather than the medial which takes the diacritic in the absence of a written nucleus. This occurs with syllables ending in ui from wei, wei ui, and in u from u, 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 that is, in the absence of a written nucleus the finals have priority for receiving the tone marker, as long as they are vowels, if not, the medial takes the diacritic. An algorithm to find the correct vowel letter when there is more than one is as follows. If there is an a or an e, it will take the tone mark. If there is an O, then the O takes the tone mark. Otherwise, the second vowel takes the tone mark worded differently. If there is an A, E, or O, it will take the tone mark. In the case of AO, the mark goes on the A. Otherwise, the vowels are U or UI, in which case the second vowel takes the tone mark. If the tone is written over an I, the tittle above the I is omitted, as in YI. Phonological intuition The placement of the tone marker, when more than one of the written letters A, E, I, O, and U appears, can also be inferred from the nature of the vowel sound in the medial and final. The rule is that the tone marker goes on the spelled vowel that is not a near semi-vowel. The exception is that, for triphthongs that are spelled with only two vowel letters, both of which are the semi-vowels, the tone marker goes on the second spelled vowel. Specifically, if the spelling of a diphthong begins with i as in ia or u as in ua, which serves as a near semi-vowel, this letter does not take the tone marker. Likewise, if the spelling of a diphthong ends with o or u representing a near semi-vowel as in ao or o, this letter does not receive a tone marker. In a triphthong spelled with three of a, e, i, o, and u with i or u replaced by y or w at the start of a syllable, the first and third letters coincide with near semi-vowels and hence do not receive the tone marker as in yao or ue or u. But if no letter is written to represent a triphthong's middle non -vowel sound as in ui or u, then the tone marker goes on the final second vowel letter. Using tone colors In addition to tone number and mark, tone color has been suggested as a visual aid for learning. Although there are no formal standards, there are a number of different color schemes in use. Dummett's color scheme was one of the first to be used. It is tone 1 red, tone 2 orange, tone 3 green, tone 4 blue, and neutral tone, black. The Unimelb color scheme is tone 1 blue, tone 2 green, tone 3 purple, tone 4 red, neutral tone, gray. The Hanping color scheme is tone 1 blue, tone 2 green, tone 3 orange, tone 4 red, neutral tone, gray. The Pleco color scheme is tone 1 red, tone 2 green, tone 3 blue, tone 4 purple, neutral tone, gray. The Thomas color scheme is tone 1 green, tone 2 blue, tone 3 red, tone 4 black, neutral tone, gray. Topic: <laughs> Third tone exceptions. In spoken Chinese, the third tone is often pronounced as a half third tone, in which the pitch does not rise. Additionally, when two third tones appear consecutively, such as in ni hao, ni hao hello, the first syllable is pronounced with the second tone. In pinyin, words like hello are still written with two third tones ni hao. The U sound 
An umlaut is placed over the letter U when it occurs after the initials L and N when necessary in order to represent the sound Y. This is necessary in order to distinguish the front high rounded vowel in lu e lu, l donkey, from the back high rounded vowel in lu e lu, l oven. Tonal markers are added on top of the umlaut, as in lu. However, the U is not used in the other contexts where it could represent a front high rounded vowel, namely after the letters J, Q, X, and Y. For example, the sound of the word U, U fish, is transcribed in pinyin simply as U, not as U. This practice is opposed to Wade Giles, which always uses U, and Tongyang Pinyin, which always uses U. Whereas Wade Giles needs of using the umlaut to distinguish between Chu pinyin ju and Chu pinyin zu, this ambiguity does not arise with Pinyin, so the more convenient form Ju is used instead of Ju. Genuine ambiguities only happen with Nu, Nu and Lu, Lu, which are then distinguished by an umlaut. Many fonts or output methods do not support an umlaut for U or cannot place tone marks on top of U. Likewise, using U in input methods is difficult because it is not present as a simple key on many keyboard layouts. For these reasons V is sometimes used instead by convention. For example, it is common for cell phones to use V instead of U. Additionally, some stores in China use V instead of U in the transliteration of their names. The drawback is that there are no tone marks for the letter V. This also presents a problem in transcribing names for use on passports, affecting people with names that consist of the sound Lu or Nu, particularly people with the surname Lu Lu, a fairly common surname, particularly compared to the surnames Lu Lu, Lu Lu, Lu Lu, and Lu Lu. Previously, the practice varied among different passport issuing offices, with some transcribing as LV and NV while others used Liu and Niu. On 10 July 2012, the Ministry of Public Security standardized the practice to use Liu and NYU in passports, although Nu written as Nu, and Lu written as Lu are not ambiguous, Nu or Lu are not correct according to the rules, Nu and Lu should be used instead. However, some Chinese input methods e.g. Microsoft Pinyin Ime support both NVE, LVE typing V for U and NU, LU. Topic: <inaudible> Pinyin in Taiwan. Taiwan, Republic of China, adopted Tongyang Pinyin, a modification of Hanyu Pinyin, as the official romanization system on the national level between October 2002 and January 2009, when it switched to Hanyu Pinyin. Tongyang Pinyin, common phonetic, a variant of Pinyin developed in Taiwan, was designed to romanize languages and dialects spoken on the island in addition to Mandarin Chinese. The Kuomintang KMT party resisted its adoption, preferring the Hanyu Pinyin system used in mainland China and in general use internationally. Romanization preferences quickly became associated with issues of national identity. Preferences split along party lines. The KMT and its affiliated parties in the Pan Blue Coalition supported the use of Hanyu Pinyin, while the Democratic Progressive Party and its affiliated parties in the Pan Green Coalition favored the use of Tongyang Pinyin. Tongyang Pinyin was made the official system in an administrative order that allowed its adoption by local governments to be voluntary. A few localities with governments controlled by the KMT, most notably Taipei, Xinchu, and Kinmen County, overrode the order and converted to Hanyu Pinyin before the January 1, 2009 national level switch, though with a slightly different capitalization convention than mainland China. Most areas of Taiwan adopted Tongyang Pinyin, consistent with the national policy. After 2009 switch, many street signs in Taiwan today still display Tongyang Pinyin but some, especially in northern Taiwan, display Hanyu Pinyin. It is still not unusual to see spellings on street signs and buildings derived from the older Wade Giles, MPS2 and other systems. The adoption of Hanyu Pinyin as the official romanization system in Taiwan does not preclude the official retention of earlier spellings. International familiarity has led to the retention of the spelling Taipei, Taipei in Pinyin systems and even to its continuation in the name of New Taipei, a municipality created in 2010. 
Personal names on Taiwanese passports honor the choices of Taiwanese citizens, who often prefer the Wade Giles romanization of their personal names, though the official online conversion tool lists pinyin before other systems. Transition to Hanyu pinyin in official use is also necessarily gradual. Universities and other government entities retain earlier spellings in long-established names, and budget restraints preclude widespread replacement of signage and stationery in every area. Primary education in Taiwan continues to teach pronunciation using Zuyin MPS or Mandarin phonetic symbols. Topic: <laughs> Comparison with other orthographies. Pinyin is now used by foreign students learning Chinese as a second language. Pinyin assigns some Latin letters sound values which are quite different from that of most languages. This has drawn some criticism as it may lead to confusion when uninformed speakers apply either native or English assumed pronunciations to words. However, this problem is not limited only to pinyin, since many languages that use the Latin alphabet natively also assign different values to the same letters. A recent study on Chinese writing and literacy concluded, By and large, pinyin represents the Chinese sounds better than the Wade Giles system, and does so with fewer extra marks. Because pinyin is purely a representation of the sounds of Mandarin, it completely lacks the semantic cues and contexts inherent in Chinese characters. Pinyin is also unsuitable for transcribing some Chinese spoken languages other than Mandarin, languages which by contrast have traditionally been written with Han characters allowing for written communication which, by its unified semantophonetic orthography, could theoretically be readable in any of the various vernaculars of Chinese where a phonetic script would have only localized utility. Topic. Comparison charts Topic. Computer input systems Simple computer systems, able to display only 7-bit ASCII text essentially the 26 Latin letters, 10 digits, and punctuation marks, long provided a convincing argument for using unaccented pinyin instead of Chinese characters. Today, however, most computer systems are able to display characters from Chinese and many other writing systems as well, and have them entered with a Latin keyboard using an input method editor. Alternatively, some PDAs, tablet computers, and digitizing tablets allow users to input characters graphically by writing with a stylus, with concurrent online handwriting recognition. Pinyin with accents can be entered with the use of special keyboard layouts or various character map utilities. X keyboard extension includes a Hanyu Pinyin ALTGR layout for ALTGR triggered dead key input of accented characters. Topic: Other variants of Chinese. Pinyin-like systems have been devised for other variants of Chinese. Guangdong Romanization is a set of romanizations devised by the government of Guangdong Province for Cantonese, Teochew, Hakka, Moyan dialect, and Hainanese. All of these are designed to use Latin letters in a similar way to pinyin. In addition, in accordance to the regulation of phonetic transcription in Hanyu pinyin letters of place names in minority nationality languages, Xiao Shu Min Zhu Yu Deming Han Yu Pin Yin Zi Mu Yin Yi Zhuan Xie Fa Xiao Shu Min Zhu Yu Deming Han Yu Pin Yin Zi Mu Yin Yi Xie Fa promulgated in 1976. Place names in non Han languages like Mongolian, Uyghur, and Tibetan are also officially transcribed using pinyin in a system adopted by the State Administration of Surveying and Mapping and Geographical Names Committee known as SASM, GNC Romanization. The pinyin letters, 26 Roman letters plus U and e, are used to approximate the non-Han language in question as closely as possible. This results in spellings that are different from both the customary spelling of the place name, and the pinyin spelling of the name in Chinese. Tongyang Pinyin was developed in Taiwan for use in rendering not only Mandarin Chinese, but other languages and dialects spoken on the island such as Taiwanese, Hakka, and Aboriginal languages. See also Combining character Serialization of Chinese 
Pinyin input method Romanization of Japanese Tibetan Pinyin Transcription into Chinese characters <laughs>